cancer season is peaking across the United States and doctors are seeing a spike in our area tonight as well. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jack Royer. That information is different from last season and it's not over yet. CBS 42's Hillary Simon starts us off tonight speaking to a doctor who says she's seeing more flu patients now, Hill. Yeah, Jack, the doctor says the amount of patients coming in with the flu has skyrocketed. She says last year flu season seemed to hit before the holidays. This time it's after and she's seeing the trend as kids, parents and teachers. Dr. Celeste Reese Willis at American Family Care says this week has been jam packed with patient visits. I think that this week we're about twice as busy as we were last week in terms of patients coming in. The majority of patients that we're seeing this week, I would say 70 to 80, even almost 90% of patients are coming in are having, you know, illnesses, flu like illnesses. She says a lot of her patients got their flu shot early this year, but some of those are still getting the flu. It does seem like the flu course this time is hitting people a little bit harder. Again, I think some of that may be related to, you know, vaccination status. Patients that have had a vaccine tend to have milder symptoms. Alabama Public Health's latest influenza report dates to January 12th, showing central Alabama with flu activity. Doctors are saying it hit the week after. We've seen an increase in uh, Tamiflu prescriptions really this past week. Uh, we really didn't have much in this area up until probably this past weekend, and we just saw a big surge. Pharmacies are trying to keep up with the demand of flu treatment like Tamiflu. There have been years in the past where sometimes you have Tamiflu that goes on back order where you can't order it, so you really definitely have to stock up and be prepared for that and order it every day. Meanwhile, Dr. Reese Willis says it's too hard to tell when flu season will start slowing down. That's why she always reiterates to wash your hands and wipe down those counters and desk. And Dr. Reese Willis also wanted me to stress that it's still not too late to get that flu shot. She says even though some people who have had the shot did get the flu, she says they had a much easier recovery than those who didn't. Live in the newsroom, Hillary Simon, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Good information, Hillary. Thank you. Turning